Playwright Constance Cox adapted Lord Arthur Savile's crime from a short story by Oscar Wilde. I went to the performance of the play at the Kirkwood Theatre Guild, anticipating an evening of the kind of wit that ripples through even the lesser of Wilde's plays, though not hoping for an equal of the importance of being earnest. But this play had little of that. Much of what it did have went to Lord Arthur's butler, Baines, handled deftly by Ken Lopinot. It also possesses a couple of domineering Lady Bracknell types, though again lacking her quota of wit. Kathy Flood Figus gives the proper aristocratic hauteur to Lady Windermere. She also has a fan to tickle those who catch the in-joke. The other matriarch is Lady Julia Merton, mother of Lord Arthur's fiancé. She dislikes her prospective son-in-law, and Eleanor Mullen succeeds in making her thoroughly unpleasant. The third mature lady is Lady Clementina Beecham, the sweet, empty-headed twit type, a fine comic turn by Liz Mitchell. Tara Ernst plays Lady Julia's daughter Sybil, engaged to Lord Arthur, and plays it delightfully. Ernst shows a firm grasp of the Wildean style. She could easily slip into either of the two young women in earnest. Ted Drury plays Lord Arthur himself, very pleasant and attractive, but perhaps not the brightest bulb on the Christmas tree. Lady Julia insists that before he can marry her daughter, he must have his palm read by a celebrated reader of palms who can find in the lines of the hand one's complete past life and one's complete future life. This is to be sure that he brings no scandals, past, present, or future, into the family. Properly eccentric, Suzanne Greenwald's Madame Podgers tells Lord Arthur privately that he will commit a murder. He thereupon determines to commit the murder immediately before it can trouble his marriage to the lovely Sybil. As I said, Lord Arthur is not the brightest and perhaps serves while to satirize the fecklessness of Britain's upper classes. So with the help of his butler and with a bomb-throwing anarchist played enthusiastically by Jordan Jenkinson with a sometimes impenetrable German accent, Lord Arthur sets upon his task. And so his crime becomes the engine of the plot, such as it is, both ridiculously complex and mind-numbingly simple. Morgan Mallsmith helps it along as the maid Nellie. John Davidson designed the set, handsomely decorated by Jadine Davidson, lighted by Jacob Winslow, with costumes designed by Cheryl Tivo, hair and wigs by Ren Bender, and sound by J.D. Wedd. Jan Meyer directed this script that challenged her considerable talent, skill, and experience. Well, I, I did read the original story, and, and I did like it more than the adaptation. It was, it was more wild. Oh, well, that's what you want, isn't it? <laughs>